right, here we are in a beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, early afternoon. Looking at a really, really fun car. This is the kind of car that just make you grin from ear to ear. Lots of good character, real Henry Steele car. Just a lot of fun. We're going to walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. When I talk about character, I talk about age character, or some guys will call it patina, but this is just a really cool 37 Ford Cabriolet. It's an all hill Henry Steele body. Has newer uh, uh, Drake updated running boards, so the rubber's nice on it. You could pick the paint for little flaws here and there, but it just has awesome character. You roll the windows up, there's a little bit of glass separation. We took little video shots like that. The top is nice and sweaty. Um, it just has that kind of feel, and the, if you step back and take a look at it stance wise, um, it's not perfect, it, it's not new, but it sure is cute. Kind of car you want to drive, you want to be able to drive. Underneath the hood, uh, it's nice little things, it's been dropped. Underneath the hood's got a 40 Ford flathead V8, stock bore, 39 uh, Ford gearbox in it, uh, 48 Ford. Uh, I think it's got 354 gear ratio in the back, but the springs have been dropped. Dropped axle in the front about three inches. Flattened springs, tube shocks. It's got older Coker uh, wide white walls on it with uh, factory artillery style wheels and center caps, deluxe caps. Um, again, like we talked about, it is all steel. It's just got that good little uh, Ford sound and feel to it. There are hood sides that it's included with it and they're also finished. It's finished in Washington blue. Like I said, it's an older finish. It's got little marks here and there, that kind of thing. And I wouldn't want this car to be any different than what it is as far as look and feel. You'll definitely get lots of attention. Uh, it's got perfectly, it's running good power. It's got dual exhaust with Fenton headers on it. An electric fuel pump that's run through the car so that it won't vapor lock. The gearbox is right. He's got it dialed in to where it's a great around town car. It leaves a little bit of room for you to fiddle with it. But the body's just beautiful. The grill's nice. The hood's nice. Again, hood sides are included. You'll see the hop dip uh, flat EV8 underneath the hood. You can see the old water stains. This top's got to be 30, 40, 50 years old. Who knows? There's no big tears in it, but uh, he's never put the top down. Rock solid body. The floor pans are beautiful. The trunk the trunk we'll get you in the video we'll get into the trunk and stuff like that for you um, but uh, you know cars like this they speak for themselves if they could talk you wonder what kind of story they'd tell um, old amateur style uh, wood graining on the dash all factory stock feel the interior is newer and it's long uh, you know buttons in it along a stock feel vinyl new carpet in it 39 gearbox like we talked about, 3 speed. Has a whole new wiring harness that comes with it. It's wired to run and drive with electric cooling fan, that type of thing. No overheat issues. All factory hardware here. It's really nice is the way the doors shut on this Cabriolet. So you can roll the windows up, you can uh, drive it in the rain, you can drive it in the sun. Something you wouldn't worry about if you got a little uh, neck or dang on it. Sometimes we get a little bit too stuffy and we forget to have fun. This is definitely the kind of car you could have fun with. Nice little uh, factory style bumpers on it. Rear tail light stanchions. It's a trunk model. And like I said, we'll get you into the trunk and show you the brand new cloth harness that could be installed if you'd like to install. The owner's driven it around town here. Heck, drive into the any SoCal speed shop in your town and take it uh, take it for a spin. Open the door again. This is just very nice original body. So if you're looking for one you can take to the next level. This one's perfect to do it. If you want to just dial in a couple little things like install the harness that's in the trunk, the cloth harness, and put some tunes in it. Try this one just the way it is though. Nice Naga hide, you know, brown Naga hide, something they would have done back in the day. So it's just got vintage hot rod things done to it.
everything on the dash is like it would have been from the factory of course other than the finishes but uh, you know three speed here locking steering column that kind of thing I'm going to turn it on put it gear you hit the starter button cherry bomb so he's got the uh, it's charging has upgraded the 12 volts uh, I believe the fuel gauge works, the temp gauge works, and the uh, oil pressure gauge works. The speedometer has not been reconnected. Factory style radio, water file style radio, uh, not working. I'm not sure all the components are there either. All the suspension looks like it's been gone through. We'll get it up on the lift here for you. Upgraded juice brakes, hydraulic brakes. Don't know if I mentioned that during my walk around. Anyway, hang on. We'll get you underneath the hood and up on the lift. And uh, thanks for listening to me. Had a great day here in Las Vegas. All right, we're going to get you underneath the hood here. Great little flathead V8 in here. It's a 1940 Ford flathead V8. So I think they were like 239 cubic inches. Standard bore engine. Um, has new Edelbrock heads on it. A new Edelbrock slingshot intake manifold. It has uh, Fenton headers on it with nice dual exhaust, cherry bombs in it. Has exit all the way to the back, custom exhaust. We'll cover that when we get up on the lift. Has a Mallory distributor, billet distributor in it with the electronic ignition as electric cooling fan. Again, you can drive this girl. We'll fire it up here for you in a minute. Dual Strombergs on it. Um, we'll get into the drivetrains here. If I haven't already covered it during the walk around, uh, but uh, has basically it's been lowered. Um, it has uh, 354 gears in the back. Has a 39 Ford transmission with a 48 Ford gearing in it. Again, the billet, just the uh, billet Mallory ignition down there, Edelbrock. All right, fired up here for you. I want to cover a couple things while we got to sit here in Island Suite. Um, it has been upgraded to 12 volt. I didn't cover that when I did the uh, engine just a minute ago. So it's 12 volt uh, alternator on it. It has an Optima battery underneath the uh, cover over there on the engine. And then uh, he's got it running on one carb, uh, the rear carb, because it just runs so much better. You really don't need both carbs. It's a great look and feel. You could connect them both if you like, um, but he's running it on the one. I'm going to go ahead and get him to rev it up a little bit, if you would. Garage. Original glass in this car, just way too cool. A little bit of separation here, a little bit of separation there. Take you over to the driver's side. You could easily put glass in if you wanted, but the old school character makes this car cool. Um, original style. Uh, glass here with some separation at the bottom a little bit here but again just gives the car a good character still photos at Spud's garage Alright, a quick little video section of the hood sides that are included he runs without the hood sides you could put them on if you liked there you go all right, we're going to uh, cover the wiring harness that I mentioned is included with it. Car's all running and driving with the wiring that's in it, but there's an OEM style cloth harness complete that could be easily installed in this car that's included with it. These are the uh, compartment covers for the rear uh, tool well. And again, more of the same there. All right, we'll get you in the trunk. Man, this thing is just solid. You just don't see trunk pans like this very nice uh, original pan car we get it up on the lift we'll share with you uh, how nice the bottom side is one thing he did these cars are known for uh, vapor locking in the days it gets so hot we'll show the bottom side of the deck here and the way to cure that the old school way to cure that is actually mount he's mounted an electric fuel pump in the back here and uh, kept the fuel lines inside the car where they'll stay cool and uh, you won't have any vapor locking issues on these old flathead V8s. All right, we'll get you the undercarriage here. Talked about during the walk around, good solid honest cars like this are getting pretty hard to find. Uh, very nice uh, solid convertible. 
a lot of time spent going through the suspension. Three inch dropped axle up front. Uh, it's been upgraded with 48 Ford juice brakes. I have a sheet over here I can cover, but we're going to cover most of it. We've already covered it during the walk around. Uh, flattened the springs a little bit, so dropped axle. Otherwise, stock suspension, the bones are still together there. Very nice fenders and body and undercarriage on this one. It's the bottom side of the 40 uh, flathead V8. As we mentioned during the walk around, it's uh, wired to, to drive, but there's a complete harness in the trunk of the car. Um, so the temp gauge works and it starts, runs, that kind of thing, but the uh, harness is included with it. Nice dual exhaust. You can see the floor pans here are very nice. Exhaust is custom built for it, runs through the frame nicely. Original floor pans, he's owned it about 15 years or so. Uh, these are new Drake running boards on it. Nicely done uh, juice brake upgrade on it, master cylinders right here. So this brake lights hooked up. Nice and tidy cherry bomb mufflers. Glass packs. 48 Ford gears in the rear differential. Again, tube shocks in the rear. All upgraded uh, juice brakes. We talked about the floor pans are just nice. Get to the back here. Then they flatten, lowered in the back by flattening the springs a little bit. All solid back here. Nice fenders. Get a better view of the floor pans there. Have more details at Spud's Garage. 39 gearbox in it.